Once again, hello, good day. Here the day is uh, very cloudy, but very bright because we have lots of snow on the ground. And uh, that gives a certain kind of uh, brightness to the day on its own. We're preparing for Christmas. That snow is one way of, of giving us a preparation of indicating he's coming. In the Old Testament reading for this, the third Sunday of Advent, it's really a reading, I, I believe, uh, where Isaiah is talking about the, um, originally when he first wrote it, about their returning from their Babylonian captivity, where the um, nation of, uh, where Judah had been taken off captive, and then they were released from captivity, and they, sh when they're returning, what they should look forward to is the uh, God's, the establishment of God's kingdom, and in fact, the new Israel. But it's, the meaning here is extended to mean, to some extent, Christmas, but I think really even more importantly to Jesus' second coming. And the, the basic theme is paradise, uh, heaven. God's kingdom is everything that is good. It is just wonderful. Rejoice. It is because God is wonderful. And the kingdom he establishes reflects his glory, his greatness, his, the wonderful and awesomeness of God. Then on to the gospel reading from Matthew chapter 11, verses 2 to 11. Here, John the Baptist, in prison, sends his uh, disciples questioning, Jesus, are you the one? And Jesus is saying, read my works, the fruits that I bear. And he says, look, the blind regain their sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, the poor have the good news proclaimed to them. And blessed is the one who takes no offense at me, who allows God to help him to read the signs. Oh my, how important that is. To know God's will uh, is very demanding on, uh, of us. It means we always we can't adhere to any of our previous opinions or thoughts. We have to be always available to God, so that we have pre no preconceived notions that block what He has to say to us. It makes us ready to receive the message He brings to us. Oh, how important that is. That was the big thing when Jesus came on this earth. He worked all the signs and all the signs for those who are available to read the signs, who don't, didn't have any preconceived notions. And obviously there were not many. Um, there were all the signs that said, this is the Messiah. This is the Savior. And even more, this is the Son of God himself in our midst. And then on to the second reading. Be patient. There's a reading from St. James, chapter 5, 7 to 10. What do, what do we need to be patient about? Uh, he's writing to people who are impatient. He's telling them, be patient. They were all impatient for the second coming of Jesus saying, oh, no, 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 wait on the Lord. Uh, the Lord's will, whatever the Lord wills, we wait on it. Just as servants wait to receive the command of the master, the mistress, we are servants who wait, who just simply wait and are available. Uh, just the fact that we're waiting and available, ready to act when we find out what God wants of us, then we're being obedient. Then we're showing we belong to the Lord. Then we're clearly showing we are servants, servants of God's will. 
May that be our preparation for the coming of Jesus in Christmas. That we are available. That we are waiting on him. Whatever is his will.